How's it going everyone, Roger here, Rants About Tech. If you're new here, welcome, consider hitting the subscribe button for me and uh, to the crew, let's go ahead and get them likes up. So today we're gonna to talk about a device that I acquired to take measurements. Um, and for e-ink devices, that just means taking measurements on screen brightness and maybe screen roughness. I would like to take measurements on the parallax, the difference between the screen uh, that you write on and the actual display that's showing the actual uh, e-ink. Um, I don't have a way to test that right now, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. But this device we have in front of us is called a spectrophotometer. Um, basically, it reads the reflection of light off of surfaces, um, whether it's shiny, whether it's bright, the whiteness level, color shifts, um, anything to do with uh, color and basically bouncing light off of color, um, that's what this device can do. And what it can do is tell us just what I just said. It can tell us the screen brightness of ink displays because that's something that we're um, concerned with as, as ink consumers is that uh, the whiter or brighter the background display of the device, um, the better the visual quality is because the ink shows up on the display better. So you have a black uh, pigment capsule showing up on a really white background. That's really good contrast. It decreases eye strain. Um, it makes things look really good. So there's a lots of reasons why you would want a, a display with a brighter background. Um, maybe that influences your buying decision. Maybe it doesn't. But what I want to talk about today is how I take those measurements with this particular machine. Just going over the calibration, going over, uh, like I said, the metrics that I use to take the measurements. And uh, if you want more detail after seeing this video, I do have an article up on rantsabouttech.com. I'll link it in the description below where you can get a little more detail on the process that I'm talking about today. This will just be a general overview. So the first thing I wanna go over with you is the calibration process. So you can see how I calibrate the machine to make sure that the numbers that it's reading are correct. So what we're gonna do first is just go ahead and start the calibration. I'm gonna push this button right here to get us going. Now it's asking me to go ahead and calibrate. It asks me to calibrate after every eight hours of non-use. So um, it's been about a day since I used it, so the calibration is, is coming up now. Um, what we can see here on the screen right here is the, the parameters I have set. So we have SCI, uh, we have D65, and we have 10 degrees, which we'll talk about those settings uh, here in a minute, but um, again, I go into greater detail on the web on the article on the website. So um, right now we're going to go through the calibration. We got to put it on the white square here. So so there's a white calibration tab right here for the calibration for the white. And the other side we have a hole here. Uh, and because of the the body of this particular tray is hollow, um, you just have a black dark space in here and that works as the black calibration. So um, what it's asking me right now is to put it on the white calibration side. So we put it on the white side there and we go ahead and hit the button here and let the calibration do its thing. All right, now it's asking me to put it on the black portion here and start the calibration. All right, so um, we have a whiteness calibration now. Um, but what I wanna talk about now is a couple of the settings that I use for this particular machine. So right now you see the CIE whiteness setting and that's one of the settings that I actually use for getting the whiteness um, measurement that I get from the e-ink tablets. So um, I go into the settings here and you can pick the parameters here and you can see right here it says whiteness, whoa. You can see right here it says whiteness CIE. Um, that's the parameter I have it set to gauge the whiteness of whatever um, surface I'm measuring. Um, then we have the formulas that it's using down here in the tolerance settings. Uh, we have down here, but I don't touch any of those. Um, the only other measurement I I change is the angle. I change the angle from two degrees to 10 degrees. Uh, two degrees is for uh, surfaces where, that doesn't have a uh, any texture, but because e-ink surfaces usually have writing surfaces and things like that, um, the angle is set for 10 for that kind of uh, texture surface. Light I change as well. It's set right now at D65, which is daylight 65, which is a common light reading for these types of devices here. And for average, I take five readings. So I take five readings for every sample, and the reading I get is an average of those five uh, readings. So 
We have mode, which is uh, SCI mode. Now SCI mode basically takes into consideration the shine of the surface. You can pick SCE mode um, that doesn't take into consideration the shine of the surface and judging its whiteness or brightness, but um, I take everything into consideration for these particular readings, so um, I want that included in the reading as well, so I choose the SCI. Other than those settings, everything else is set, set to factory defaults. Now, I take two readings with the device. I take a whiteness reading and I also take a brightness reading. Uh, there's two differences there. The whiteness reading uh, judges uh, how white and how close to white the surface gets. That's helpful to see how close these devices get to the whiteness of paper, right? And that's kind of what they're trying to emulate. Um, the other thing I test for here is brightness and that's broken down into three different segments. And let's go ahead and see that right now. So right now we have a CIE reading for whiteness, which is 813.7. Um, that's just the calibration whiteness. That's not from a t uh, test that I've run, um, but we can change that whiteness setting. We can change it to read brightness. And the way we do that, we go back here to LAB. So we go to CIE, LAB, right here. And what that does is it, it gives us measurements for brightness, how, how much light that surface is reflecting back, right? Uh, that's, a, that's a true judge of brightness and that's what this machine does. Um, but with the LAB setting, um, we not only get the L component, which is the brightness component, we get the A and the B components, which tells us color shift. So we can see to what end of the color spectrum the, the surfaces shift towards as far as what color hue they're displaying to us beyond the whiteness. So we can have white with a, that has a reddish hue. We can have white with a greenish hue, white with a bluish hue. Uh, and this will tell us to what, um, color these displays are shifting towards. So a whiteness test for just whiteness, how white it is, and then a brightness test to see how bright it is and to see what color um, we have, a, we, we see what color shifts we have, if we have any. So that is what we're judging here with this particular uh, spectral photometer. Uh, and by the way, this spectral photometer is called the DS62, if, uh, if you wanna know the model number there. All right, so those are the tests that I do. That's the calibration that I do with this particular machine. So let's go ahead and show you the controls that I use to, to give you a bearing for what kind of readings this particular instrument gets. All right, so what we have here is a spider checker color chart right here, which is an industry standard color chart for videography and photography to make sure that your colors, uh, your, your your colors are the, the color they're supposed to be as far as um, the tint uh, and your white balance goes. Um, this will let you know if your reds are as close to what the reds should look like so you can you can adjust if you need to. Um, not just reds, any color, but for our intents and purposes, we're only concerned about the white square here. Um, so this will tell us and this will measure white force and tell us what kind of reading this particular spectral photometer gets. Now, um, just so we know, white is at a, at 100 and zero is black. So anything close to zero is gonna be black, anything close to 100 is gonna be white. So let's see how close to white this particular thing gets here. The next thing we have is paper. So we can also judge um, by the measurements that this thing gives for paper. Again, remember, Total white is 100 and uh, black is zero. So um, we're gonna test both of these to, as, as controls. So you can see, I have these controls up on the, the metrics that I took for the website. If you don't know, um, I also have a written version of this on the website, rantsabouttech.com. Uh, I'll link the article in the description as well, but if you go there, you can find the article. Uh, and I talk about some of these things in, in greater detail there if you want a little bit more information. All right, so we're gonna do readings on these for controls just to see if they match the readings that I've already gotten. So for the spider checker for whiteness on the site, I have a, a measurement of, for the checker, 77.38 for whiteness. So let's go ahead and see if we can get uh, matching measurements, uh, just as a control here. So let's go ahead and check it out. We'll do the spider checker first. Uh, and the way you do this is, you can see this right here. Uh, I open this up and we just kind of put this over the 
um, color that you want to see, right? And then you push this down. So if I wanted to see the red, I would put this over the red. Oh, we can't see that there too, too well. But I put this over the red like that and then push this down and it would give me red readings, right? So that's how we're gonna do this. So we're gonna put this opening over the white, push down there, and then we're gonna go ahead and get the reading. Actually, what reading are we getting first? Oh, this is a brightness reading, so we wanna change this to a whiteness. Yep, that LAB is the brightness, so we wanna go down to whiteness. There we go, whiteness CIE. All right, so now that we've done that, cool. We're gonna do our five, and then we'll get a we'll get an average. So we got a score of seventy seven point seventy six for the spider checker and the site gives us 77.38. So yeah, we're well within the range of degree of error. So yeah, um, we're getting good readings here. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the whiteness of the paper here. Um, paper can be a bit bleached. So sometimes paper gets above 100 that's above white because of the bleached nature of paper. But um, I don't think that's what's going on here. As far as the site goes, um, I have a reading of 93.61 from, from my last reading here. Um, so let's go ahead and see what reading we get now and see if we, we get comparable to that. All right, so we get 93.53 for an average reading here. And like I said, we get 93.61, which like again, is within the degree of error for this particular um, instrument right here. So in conclusion, I just wanted to show the calibration method. I wanted to show the controls uh, that I can get consistent readings with this particular machine. And this machine takes industry standard readings. So the CIE standard that I'm taking here is the um, International Consortium for Illumination. And they pretty much control what formulas are used to take brightness and whiteness uh, measurements. And this machine uh, does just that. Uh, it uses standard uh, metrics, standard formulas, and use standard nomenclature to describe brightness and whiteness of many things, not just e-ink surfaces, but paper, color checkers, color charts, um, anything that you want to test the color of, this thing can do that with industry standard results. So um, I trust these results. And again, if you wanna look at how the stats worked out for the brightness of the ink devices that I checked, uh, go and go to the website. I'll link that into the, in the description as well. Go to the website, check it out. Uh, see where your ink device ranked. I only test, tested 10. I have 10 ink devices. I tested all of them. Uh, and you can see there which device um, led the pack there in brightness and whiteness and some other categories uh, as well. But I hope this demonstration helped you understand what this device does and how it does it. And I also go over my methodology for doing these or taking these readings as well in the article. So I strongly suggest you check out the article if you want a little bit more detail and information uh, about this process. All right, man, uh, that's gonna be it for me. Uh, I hope you guys got something from this video. Check out the website, ransomboutech.com for more information. Like if you liked, subscribe if you wanna see more, and uh, to the next time, peace. I meant take care. How did I mess up my sign? -off?